people welcome to the largest grocery haul that you're going to watch today maybe I don't, I don't know I don't know your plans I don't know what you're watching I shopped and shopped and shopped I went to Costco and I went to Publix so this is a Costco grocery haul I had a list of all the things that I needed actually not all the things that I needed I'm hoping I got all the things I needed but there's really no telling until I start making the food I plan on making freezer meals one and then dinners as well and then my husband's been juicing so he needs a lot of stuff to juice with and by the end of the shopping trip I thought wow now I have to bring this all inside <laughs> so that was fun took me about 75 hours to bring it from the car to my kitchen also can we talk about the mental load that is grocery shopping and meal planning and like just making dinner in general it's a lot it's a lot so on Instagram I asked you guys uh, you know for dinner inspiration and I got a lot of great ideas uh, after I already made my meal plan for the week it was my fault I should have asked before I made my meal plan so this is how many meals I have so I think I'm gonna be set for about uh, two months so let's hop into showing you the groceries I'm sure it's gonna take me forever to talk about it I'll give you a 360 view real quick here it is, Costco mostly over here. Oh, and I just remembered I left the chips in the car, but we'll get over it. Yes, every single bit of my counter space is covered in food. And then we're gonna have to put it away in the fridge. Who knows how long that's going to take. All right, starting over here with all of the produce I picked straight from my garden. We've got some plums, garden fresh plums over here. My kids have been eating plums like crazy. I didn't even know they really enjoyed plums, but here we are. I also got two bags of Brussels sprouts. I, you know what, should I tell you my what I'm planning to make? Do you guys care? Well, a lot. If you care, how about you screenshot that, pause the video, read that real quick. But Brussels sprouts are always a staple. It's like a sheet pan meal, a side dish. I mean, it's a great vegetable and it's a winter vegetable, it's so delicious. Carrots, to be real, the carrots were looking pretty sad, but I picked out the best things that I saw. God made dirt, is that right? And then I got some cauliflower. Ooh, we're making some soup with this. Cauliflower sausage and kale soup. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped, so excited. I'm either gonna share it in a week of dinner videos or in the freezer meal. I haven't decided yet whether I wanna eat it fresh or frozen. <laughs> I also got some baby potatoes. And to be real, I don't know what I'm making with some of this stuff, but it's always a staple to have many potatoes and green beans and certain vegetables on hand because dinner time rolls around and sometimes I'm like, I don't know what's for dinner. I also got a spaghetti squash. I love adding, first of all, this is one thing I do love about having an Instant Pot is cooking spaghetti squash. It's so simple. It doesn't take very long to cook it in the Instant Pot either, comparing to cooking it in either the microwave or the oven. And I will say that is one thing. I use spaghetti squash to bulk up literally any meal that you're making. It's almost flavorless. It just adds a little bit of bulk and some vegetable. And who can go wrong with that? In particular, if you're looking for a specific, I made a Bobby's goulash the other day and added this to it. Oh my gosh, unbelievable, loved it. And then I got a whole bag of lemons over here. Ah, that's a lot of lemons. I can freeze the juice. But also, I think Alex likes to do it when he juices, so just add a little bit of lemon. And if you add it in your water in the morning, it's supposed to be really beneficial. I've been watching, oh, what's his name? Simnet Nutrition on YouTube for like years, and he does this every day of his life. So I figure, he looks pretty good. Maybe I should try that too. I got some bell peppers. I got two packs of bell peppers. I, again, I don't, I don't remember what meal there. Oh, oh, I think coconut curry. Instead of tomatoes, I add cut up bell peppers. Yeah, I don't like tomatoes, so I do my own thing and I make my own recipe, so there's that. I also got two bags of frozen broccoli. Uh, the last couple of times I've gone to Costco, I forgot to buy frozen broccoli, so I'm really glad that my brain was attached to my neck this time. Is your brain attached to your neck? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. I took anatomy and physiology in college. N two, anatomy and physiology and the advanced course. I went to school to become a nurse. I don't know if a lot of people know that. <laughs> Could you imagine having me as your nurse? Hey, I'd be like, uh, what's his name? Robin Williams. Robin Williams as a doctor would be the equivalent as me as a, what's his, what, a, Jack? No, it's not Jack. Oh my God, I can't think of the movie right now. Pat, 
Scotch Adams. Well, there it is. My movie trivia is coming out. I also got a bag of spinach, a big bag. I almost got two, and then I thought, I don't know if I can store that long enough. I'm gonna throw that in a couple soups that I plan on making. Also, my kids really like spinach, like cooked spinach. It's just good. And you can throw it in salads, which, oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot. Do you, do you need to see the whole bag? It's a pretty large bag. Do you see this? How many ounces is this? I don't know. It doesn't say. Oh yeah, 40 ounces of spinach, which is pretty much the equivalent of half a cup once you cook it. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are I said, this is toxic. It's so strange when you go, you know, to unscented products and more natural products. When you use something that is scented, oh my gosh, it hit me like a punch in the face, you guys. Has anyone else experienced this? I Don't get me wrong. I love the scent of a good downy. I don't even know if that's downy tied. And I mean, I, I bet it's downy. I don't know. Everyone loves that bear. I love that scent. It just, it was overpowering, and I was like, holy mo- I can't even use Windex anymore. Anyone else? It's too much for me. Method products, though, they smell, they smell nice. All right, let's uh, dissect this chicken together, okay? is I forgot romaine lettuce at Costco. Why? Why do I do that? The same price I spent on six romaine hearts at Costco is how many I get at Publix for three. Did that make sense? I save money buying it at Costco. I just forgot it. I got some sweet potatoes right here. I plan on cutting them up and eating them. <laughs> also, if you, uh, you know, have a baked potato, I think I talked about this last time, you shove any anything inside of it and it tastes delicious. I got these at Publix, but I just threw them over here to make me look extra healthy. I got two bundles of kale. Tell me this isn't the most beautiful bundle of kale you've seen in a while. I think it's a winter vegetable. It must be because, oh my God, every other time I buy kale, it just looks so sad. So I got two bundles. This one doesn't look as nice. Ugh, it definitely, does. but that's all they had on the uh, shelf. So they had like, 
Beauty and the Beast over here. I also grabbed two bundles, two sacks of bananas. I forgot what they're, two hands. Doesn't matter what they're called. I got six pounds of bananas and my kids are either going to eat them all in one day or they're gonna go brown on me and we're gonna have banana bread. I got some grapes. <laughs> it's a lot of grapes. It's a lot, but you know what I've realized? My kids love grapes. And I love that they love grapes. I would much rather them eat something. And you know what, you guys? I did eat some on the way home. I couldn't refer. Actually, I wasn't even on the way home. It was while I was loading my groceries into my car from Costco. Oh, it takes so much out of me going grocery shopping. Does anyone feel that way? I think what takes it out of me is that I'm in the store for so long because I film a shop with me and then I have to actually shop too. Okay. Oh, I've been missing this stuff. Chicken and apple sausage. Literally the best. Listen, if you don't have a Costco membership, don't buy it. It is so expensive. I think you get one, two, three, four, five links, but at a normal grocery store, you get four. I mean, at Costco, you'd get 15 links. Do you see that? My arm is completely in the, in the way. But at a normal grocery store, it's like over a dollar a link, and it's just incredibly expensive. They do have a lot of different flavors. I like the chicken and apple, mostly because that's the only flavor that Costco, that my Costco sells, so I settle for that. It tastes so good. I just love it. I love it so much. Sometimes it'll be midday and I'm hungry. I don't feel like making anything. So I just take a link or two, shove it in the microwave, cut it up and I eat that for lunch. And well, I probably add more to it, but that's a good little snack. <laughs> I also got this red chili pepper. Look at this jar. So I've been meaning to go to Trader Joe's for, oh, about <laughs> six months. I can't remember the last time I went. I think Meredith was like two weeks old, but I haven't been because, well, many reasons. I won't explain them here, <laughs> unless you wanna know, in which case. I'm just kidding, I won't explain. But Trader Joe's sells some really good red chili pepper, I, but I don't think I'm gonna go there anytime soon, and I do plan on making this one like appetizer for Halloween. It's like, I mean, it's basically how I eat red chili pepper. It's like a jelly, right? It's like, yeah, that's exactly what it is, a jelly. I don't know how to describe it. It's just delicious. It's a little spicy, much delicious. What I do is I take a block of cream cheese and then you dump this over it, not the whole thing, maybe like a quarter or a half. So good, spread it on some wheat thins or some crackers, whatever you have, and it's delicious. But for Halloween, it's supposed to look like blood because it's red and then you cut out the cream cheese into a shape. We'll see if I cut out the cream cheese into a shape, probably not. I got some cucumbers, just three this time. I should have got more, I wasn't thinking. And then I got a bag of onions. I also got three packages of strawberries and they smell so fragrant. I can whiff them right now. And then seaweed in the back there. We got a lot of seaweed. My kids love to eat it. A lot of you ask, how do you eat it like a chip? I, I'll pack it in their lunch and they eat it like a chip or they eat it at home like it. They just take the seaweed right out of there like it. Everyone loves it. Or you can pack some rice in there, some pork, chicken, whatever you want. If you're serving rice for dinner, sometimes we just throw seaweed with it and the kids love it. Okay, this needs to go in the freezer like an hour ago. It was on sale. I had my eye on this. They actually have three kinds of, I'm trying to put it down. It's like flopping over. Extra large dumplings filled with Korean style bulgogi flavor. I, listen, bulgogi, bulgogi. That's the best I can do. They have chicken and vegetable and they, they have like three other kinds, but this one was on sale so I finally bought it. Let me put it in the freezer. Oh my word, you guys. I set my camera down to bring that into my freezer and I couldn't find my camera. <laughs> so here I am back again. Granny Smith apples. I actually got two bags of these. One is in my Publix haul, one is right here. They were buy one, get one free. What, organic apples? I don't love that they come in this plastic, but you know. Hummus, we finally ran out of the um, hummus containers. I, I love this. I love the individual cups. I hate the individual cups. Also love, it's a love-hate relationship, really. That's what it is, and you know what? I just did it. I just did it. There's no excuses. That's what it is. It's convenient, exactly what it says on the cover. Oh, speaking of convenient. Okay, are we doing um, Halloween this year? Are we? I know a lot of places are still. Uh, we are, we're dressing up. I don't know what we're doing about trick-or-treating or trunk-or-treat trunk or, or whatever. I think our neighborhood is hosting a trunk-or-treat, actually. I have no, I, I don't know, I'm not really into that. I'm just like really inaudible mumbling. Oh, and don't let me fool you. This is not for trick-or-treaters. This is 1,000% for me. There are 30 full-size bars in here. You'll never guess how much I paid for it. You'll never guess. You don't have to guess because it's right there in the corner. Amazing, isn't I think it was on sale. 
I'm pretty sure it was on sale. I'll even put the original price up there if it says it on the receipt. I don't know. <laughs> You'd think I would know by now if the receipt, what the receipt specifies, but I don't. I'm pretty sure it says the re I don't know, I'll put it up there. <laughs> okay, speaking of something amazing, holy crud, cinnamon rolls with icing. Guys, Annie's, homegrown. These are just as good as homemade cinnamon rolls. If you've never tried them and the price is off-putting to you, I get it. Listen, first time I had them, I was like $6. I think in a normal grocery store, it's like $6 for a roll. Target has a, a little cheaper, maybe $4.99. It's like 5 or $6. You only get five uh, rolls in a tube. You guys, I cannot push you enough to buy it. I should have got two of them or, or three. When's the expiration date? They taste homemade. I don't know how they do it. I mean, they probably put good ingredients in there is all I can say, but it, they taste so, I wonder if I could freeze them. And then I'm gonna go back into Costco and buy a whole buttload of them. I said what I said. Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck. Yeah, I've gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. No, it is way too late, but I just can't get my eyes of you. Maybe we will regret this, but tomorrow is another day. And I will do anything, I will do anything to get your love. Hey, won't you pull me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck. Yeah, I've got to put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. Because it's on. with mango so I've never had this before but the ingredients looked pretty delicious it's an ear oh irresistible is what it was irresistible Indian cuisine I really like Indian cuisine I'm not good at recreating it because 
I don't know. I'm, well, you know, Italian seasoning doesn't taste good with Indian cuisine, so I don't know how to make it. I don't have the right seasonings. Uh, so I'm excited to try that. Maybe tonight it'll be like an easy dinner. It's just the chicken and sauce and then just cook up some rice and a vegetable. Broccoli? I mean, literally 15 minute dinner, frozen broccoli and rice. Well, maybe 20 if you have to cook the rice. Okay. I got some chicken. This is becoming a trend, me going to the grocery store later in the day because that's just when I can, you know, get <laughs> time, you know, time away, time to go grocery shopping. So by the time I get home, put the groceries away, it's like bedtime. So I need a very easy dinner and that's exactly what this is. Plus Costco chicken, oh my God, it's like the juiciest, the best. They pump it full of stuff. We don't care what it is because our taste buds love it. All natural mashed potatoes, all natural. <laughs> Well, do we believe that? Only six ingredients, let's see. All right, potatoes, whole milk, butter, sweet cream, salt, salt and pepper. What is MSN? Oh, niacin preparation, salt, something else, and natural microbial, oh, to keep it fresh, y'all. All right, well, not so bad. I figured I'm not gonna have time to make mashed potatoes, slash, do I have time or do I just not want to? I don't know, tomato, tomato. These are good, and you can even throw, there's two in here, you can throw one in the freezer and eat one right away, and you microwave them to heat them up. Eat, so simple, no skill involved at all. Also some Olive Garden Italian dressing, I'm almost out of it, sad day when that happens, so, oh, I also have a dinner recipe with this. It's a good one, well, I hope it's a good one. I don't, I don't know. People are talking about it like it's good. Shelled pistachios. That's always a nice little uh, salty treat. Oh, speaking of a salty treat, jalapeno and lime tortilla chips. Holy, I need to crack this open right now. I just can't wait any longer. I might have to wait a little longer because I can't see. Oh, tear, tear to taste. I still can't get it open. My fingers must be really weak. I cannot tear to taste. I just want to taste it. All my sharp knives are gone. Uh, interesting. You know what? I wish they had more, <laughs> more seasoning. They're not very spicy at all. Yeah, and the lime flavor, maybe, uh, maybe I should have opened the bottom of the bag first. That's a trick. Cause when the bag is on the shelf, all the seasoning falls to the bottom. So when you tip it over and open it from the bottom, that's when you get like all the nicely seasoned chips. Oh, now I, now I get the heat a little bit. I don't know. I won't buy them again if given the option. All right, moving on to this bacon, something I have bought over and over again because it's like the best bacon. Oh, the very first time I had it, I hated it. <laughs> and then I quickly retracted my statement the next time I had it because it comes in a pack of two. So delicious. It's such good bacon. So good. Oh, and I got some Lunchables. Uh, you know what? I really enjoyed having this just for a quick, easy lunch on those nights where I'm like, oh my gosh, they have school tomorrow and it's 11 o'clock at night and I still haven't packed lunches. Love having this, because I can just pack this, throw in a couple snacks, healthy snack options, and I'm good to go. And my kids love it because they come with Hershey Kisses right there. These are a little different. I don't know if you can see. The turkey and stuff that comes in it is like not your average Lunchable meat. And I really enjoyed that. It made it seem like it was a little more natural. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then I got a lot of cheese. This is for a freezer meal. I don't know. Every time I buy sliced cheese like this, I always regret it. So, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I got some heavy cream. I got some half and half. I, mostly for soups and uh, I don't know what else. Cream cheese. I don't really know what that's for either, but I got it. <laughs> and then I got some butter over here. Again, don't ask me. I mean, we needed butter is all I can say. We, we go through it. We make a lot of stuff with it. Okay. This tower of stuff over here. I got some ground beef for a lot of dinners that I plan on making, but I don't remember what they are right now. And then I got black beans. We are literally out of beans. My daughter eats beans like they are going out of style. She loves them so much. Oh, also someone, it's actually my cousin on, the, on my Instagram who shared her. When I asked for recipes, she said, I have a really good soup recipe, but it makes you fart a lot. So I took a poll and I said, are we ready for this? Or are you a lady? So, and most of you said you're ready for the toots. So bring it on. I got a ton of beans. Uh, this was black beans. And then I got some coconut milk. I plan on making some curries. And just, I love always having coconut milk on hand. Oh, I meant to buy frozen mango because I make this really good uh, Thai mango dessert. So good. And then I got some, what is this? 
Oh, I forgot the flour on the ground. I almost forgot about that. What is this? It's chicken something. Broth. Chicken broth is what it is. I almost didn't buy it because I thought it was chicken soup. Chicken noodle soup. Don't want that. I just want the broth. Oh, and I found these um, kids size face masks. Uh, you know, I just like to have some on backup and these were a pretty good price. They were $10 for four of them. So I figured it was nice to have those on hand. And then I got some tomato sauce. Uh, this isn't sauce. It's tomatoes. I make a lot of tomato soup. Nope, that's wrong. Tomato sauce with this. Also use it for like chilies and stuff like that. So it's chili season, if you were unaware. We actually made chili last night. So good. Oh my gosh, we're not even done with the haul. Not even close, we got some goodies coming up. Okay, what is this? Deodorant. Uh, I'm like out of deodorant. I feel like I bought deodorant a week ago, but in reality, it's probably been like six months. So there's some deodorant. Over here to the carb station, we have some bread, lunch bread, and then we got some baguettes for dinner tonight. Also, the kids really like this kind of bread in their, for their sandwiches and their lunch boxes. So I like to grab, I mean, who doesn't like bread like this? You know what I mean? If you don't like bread like this, you're lying to yourself, okay? Everyone loves carbs, unless you're allergic to gluten, in which case, I'm sorry. Cloud bread is fantastic, I hear. Okay, I also got a lot of eggs, which is kind of triggering for me. Last time I bought this many eggs, I think I got four, and it was right when the uh, COVID hit, right when the pandemic hit, and I got so much hate. Oh, you're the reason my grandmother can't find eggs. I'm like, I'm so sorry, I didn't know this is going to be a thing. <laughs> All right, anyway. <laughs> so I only got three. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm. Don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up I always have a ton of people ask me what I use. Well, two questions. Well, one's more of a statement. I get people saying, don't wash your vegetables in soap. They think I'm using dish soap, which I think technically Dr. Bronner's soap can be used as a dish soap. I say it every time, but Dr. Bronner's is like magical unicorn tears. It can literally be used on everything, but should it be? debatable okay uh, according to Google this stuff can be used for like shampoo to wash your car probably clean your carpets <laughs> also edible because you can wash your fruits and vegetables with it yes and I have had this bottle for years and years and I am aware that I can simply use something more natural like vinegar and I plan to do that in the future but I just want this to get rid of this stuff oh bonus Dr. Bronner soap also gets out uh, poop stains in your baby's clothes so there's that. Bet you didn't think I was gonna throw that at you. <laughs> Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. I got a lot of bagels. This is part of the freezer meals. I'm going to make bagel sandwiches. So bagel, egg, and the cheese that we got over there. Oh, I forgot to show you this flour. I even mentioned it. Uh, it's 25 pounds. It doesn't feel like 25 pounds when I lift it up, uh, but it sure is. It says 25 pounds down there. Um. Yeah, I'm out of flour. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Believe it or not. Moving on over here. Okay, 
Um, I wish Costco sold the free and clear Tide Pods, but they don't. So I got the uh, this kind. I don't know. Spring Meadow, 168 packs. I just, I don't know when the next time I'm going to Target is. And we have like two pods left and i i just I, I need to do laundry you know what i mean so i got those aged white cheta i also got what is this oh my gosh okay i wasn't going to buy it i wasn't going when i saw it for the you know initially i thought kim you don't need that just put your blinders on keep walking it's no big deal you're not missing out fomo doesn't exist blah blah well then do you know what I saw on Instagram? And so many of you are tagging me in it. It is insane. I saw someone making a Halloween charcuterie board and I thought, well, I guess I need to make that. But what do I need to make it? A circular charcuterie board. So that's what I got and it was on sale. It was calling my name. That's what it was doing. And so I got it. Do I have regrets? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do. Do I need to, yeah. And that's just what it is. We're going to move along. I got some red lentils. I didn't know that these were so hard to come by. Normally they're green, which is how I buy them. Red ones are on the top shelf. I guess they're the fancy lentil. I don't know. I need this. I plan on making Madras lentils, but like my own like freezer meal option. We'll see how it comes out. Oh, you know what else I bought from Madras lentils? Homemade edition. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this spice. Is it masala? 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 I don't know. And I couldn't really smell it in the store, so I just bought it. The, <laughs> the recipe that I was reading, I was reading like three recipes. And one of them said to make it more of that like traditional flavor, buy this. So I was like, oh, of course, it's, I need that, you know? Oh my gosh, Wentworth is the cutest thing I've ever seen. He makes his own mac and cheese. He'll like grab the stool, stand right here, stand by the stove, wait for the water to boil, pour the noodles in. He mixes everything in and he puts it into everyone's bowl. He feels like a true chef, I tell you, and he is so proud of himself and everyone's so proud of him. It's the cutest thing. So of course, I couldn't deny him of that pleasure, so I got some more mac and cheese for that boy. He loves it so much. He literally, this morning, 6 a.m., can I make mac and cheese? I was like, dude, you cannot have mac and cheese first thing in the morning. Uh, so then we made some mac and cheese <laughs> because there are no rules, okay. I also plan on sharing this really, really good anti-pasta. It's a keto dish. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it keto, but my sister-in-law made it uh, last time we had a family get together and it was delicious. So I asked her for the recipe. So I need some uh, summer sausage and then pepperoni, which this reminded me when I was a kid, every time I would go to the grocery store with my mom, I would always ask for one of these. Most of the time she wouldn't buy it, which like, come on, make your kid happy and spend, what was this? three four dollars <laughs> anyway I, don't, I mean she bought a lot of stuff for us but always wanted one of these uh you know at the grocery store anyway you need some of this for the anti-pasta you also need like cheese and then the peppers in it oh my gosh the peppers are so stinking god speaking of stinking good you know we like these harvest snaps not the peas Ugh, the green peas taste like blech. Ooh, made with real veggies. But if you get the lentil, they, ooh, red lentils. See, fancy, I told you the red lentils are fancy. They taste so good. They do not taste health, like a healthy thing at all. They just taste good. Well, okay, I can't speak on these, but we always have the red lentil crisps. We always buy those, but I've never seen the Crunchios. Cr Crunchios? That's a different name, all right. So apparently they're new. I got two flavors, kickin' barbecue and then sour cream and onion, and I figure my kids are gonna eat these within four seconds flat. I also got a lot of pouches for Meredith. There has been so many times where I've like been in a rush or whatever and out the door, you know, if the kids have gymnastics or we're going to the pool or whatever, and I just need a snack to like throw in my bag. So I, I bought some of these for those types of occasions and I just got a medley of like different kinds and different flavors and stuff. So there's that. I also told you guys I'm stocking up on the beans. So I got butter beans, I got red kidney beans, I got pinto beans, uh, great northern beans, light red kidney beans, and then back here are some cannellini beans. All the beans, the musical fruit, that's what we call it here. Everybody likes to toot, everybody toots. Can we just get over that? Everybody. There's like this stigma growing up. Oh, girls don't toot. Yeah, they do. Because we have a body too. I got some canola oil cooking spray. 
I'm pretty sure canola is the worst kind you can get, but I wasn't thinking. I was rushing through Publix as I knew I had freezer things in my trunk already. I've been getting a coconut spray but i just i wasn't thinking so i got the canola i know tell me all about it these were buy one get one free elbow noodles they normally have a cutout in the box are they trying to save money or something normally they show you like what the noodles look like inside i kind of miss that not gonna lie i got some corn tortillas because i plan on making these like chicken thing it's a freezer meal watch the freezer meal if you want to see the recipe okay i'll i'll let you know how they turn out oh my gosh i bought a bag of these the other day for the kiddos they loved them and i used to buy them all the time for avelina and then i couldn't find them in the grocery stores for the longest time i know some costcos sell a huge bag of these but mine doesn't sadly so i got them from Publix. they're the cinnamon apple straws listen they're not hell i mean they're not that great for you 30 percent less fat what's inside of these corn flour, rice flour, sugar. Oh, third ingredient is sugar. Three grams of sugar in five servings in this one bag. Uh, but it tastes like, have you ever been to Taco Bell and gotten the cinnamon twists? It tastes like that, but I assume a little healthier. I'm not sure, but my kids really enjoy that. So I thought for a nice fall snack, we can have that treat. And then, oh, you know what else they love are these, okay, uh, Costco used to sell the enormous bag of cauliflower puffs I can't find them anymore. Why don't they sell them anymore? They're so good. This is the cheddar flavor that I got from Publix. That's all they had. So I just got two bags of those. And then Abelina, staple in our house. She loves these buffalo wing hot pretzel chips. So, you know, I aim to please. I also got a lot of ground sausage for freezer meals and then dinners and stuff. Parmesan cheese for some of the dinners and freezer meals that I plan on making, uh, apparently. Clearly, we buy food to eat it. And then these were buy one, get one free. I couldn't, I couldn't just leave these on the shelf. You know what I mean? Eight chocolate chip muffins. Ugh. And they're so much better than any muffin that you can ever make. And they're already made for you. Eight of them for $3.50. Come on. I also got a ton of cheese from Costco. Mozzarella cheese. It comes in a two pack. These, I mean, they're huge. And then, uh, oh, I freeze them. I pop them in the freezer and you're good to go and then take it out when you need to use it. If you want to portion it out into smaller bags, you can do that as well. And then I got the Mexican blend over there. I also got tortillas. It's like an easy dinner tacos in my house. Well, really everyone in our house loves chimichangas except for me. Am I the only one who does not like chimichangas? I like a ton of fresh lettuce on my taco. Please and thank you. Also, Alex asked for some alcohol. I didn't find any at Costco. I guess they were still out or I just maybe didn't know where to look. I don't know. I looked in the beauty section, couldn't find it. So I got some at Publix uh, and then I got some romaine hearts. I told you all about the apples. And then, oh, last thing from Costco, I got this rotisserie chicken leg. Like this top is not staying on. What is happening? Oh my God. What is happening? I'm running my dishwasher. So something's going on. Okay. I told you guys last time, these are such a steal. We made like three dinners out of this one amount of chicken. It's amazing. So I took I took the skin off of the thighs and then there's like a drumstick attached to each one of those. So one night for dinner, we had the drumsticks and then the amount of chicken that I pulled off, I added it to, I think some kind, oh, oh, we had chicken and dumpling soup. And then I just made chicken, something else with the other rest of the shredded chicken. God, it's incredible how much meat you get off of that all for five dollars love it i got this picture in my closet it's gathering dust right now and the edges have been folded once or twice it doesn't look the same no more because the sun has made it pale i used to have it hanging on my wall some time ago picture of you You're standing by that window Playing your guitar And if I close my eyes I can almost hear your song A picture of you
not sure if I have mentioned it yet in this video. Uh, maybe you can tell by my outfit. Maybe not. Who cares? Maybe you didn't care about it. But uh, I didn't put my groceries away the, that night. <laughs> I mean, I put the stuff that needed to be refrigerated away, but the rest of this stuff was laying out on my counter, I think for an entire day before I was able to get to it. That's life. You know, I just had a, I've got a million other things going on. We're all busy, right? We're all trying to do the best we can. So this stuff was laying on my counter and uh, the strawberries were put in the fridge and I don't know what happened to them, but they got frozen, like a, a few of them, a good pack of them. And I, I, I don't know how it happened. I don't know the science behind refrigerators, but maybe our, my fridge was too full. I, you know what? I don't know. I don't even want to try to explain it. I'm sure some of you will let me know in the comments. But <laughs> some of them are frozen. So the squishy ones, you know, once you put strawberries in the freezer and take them out, they get a little mushy. So I just um, cut them up cut the tops off of them and then threw them in a Ziploc bag and those will be going in the freezer. I wanted to explain that because eh, why not? Are you still there? I can't believe you're still there. If that was so much food to cover, how long did that take me? What time is, what year is it? Okay, it took me a long time and I'm still not done. I have to put all of this away. Are we doing a food prep this time? I don't know. If I do, you will have already known and I'll add it in this video or if this video is way too long and I just didn't do it, I will maybe, if I do get around, food prepping because it is worth it. The containers work. They keep your food fresh longer, no joke. I don't know if it's the containers or the combination of washing them and putting it in the containers, but I really enjoy doing that. So you'll see it either, either way, you'll see whatever I do, maybe, no promises here. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching everything that I plan on eating. Well, me and my family. If I ate this amount of food, this will probably last us two weeks. I don't, I don't know. Don't listen to me. I have no absolutes. If you can't tell, I do not speak in absolutes. I think that was an absolute statement. I never speak in absolutes. <laughs> anyway, thank you for hanging out and watching what I bought from Costco. I hope you enjoyed your time here. I always enjoy your company. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye!